Another day, another dollar in this world we call truck driving. Yeah, I just got off the phone with Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie called. He said, hey, I sent that off a letter with the uh, benefits package. I said, oh, you ain't forgot about me yet, huh? So no, nah, we, we ain't forgot about you, man. Uh, gave you a star date. We we'll see you on your start date. I said, oh, is that right, Mr. Charlie? You gave me a start date. So I look at the start date. Okay. Okay, Mr. Charlie. Okay, well, Mr. Charlie, look. That ain't, uh, that ain't tomorrow, Mr. Charlie. You know, some time got to go by, you know. So, uh, Mr. Charlie, I'm not, first of all, I'm not going to believe the situation until I'm, behind the steering wheel and I'm driving the truck and then at that point I may believe you know I'll be like at 75 percent believe you know that believing in you know what's going on because you know I didn't been through this before right before I went to North Dakota you know I uh, got everything set up all for letter benefits package set up for had a set a star date also <laughs> and as the star date got closer so did uh, the funny business that uh, Mr. Charlie can, you know, pull all of a sudden, you know. Uh... All right, Mr. Charlie, it's, it's time to start. Uh... Where do I meet the train at? M Mr. Charlie, it's... oh, it's not today? It's... No, you you know, you told me it was today. I'm supposed to meet the train of the day. Um. You said at this time today, I'm asking for the address. Oh, it's it's gonna be next week. Oh, well, it ain't no problem, Mr. Charlie. I'll wait till next week. I... All right, Mr. Charlie, it's next week. All right, all right, Mr. Charlie. Oh, you you still didn't send me the address to meet the. I'm supposed to meet the trainer. You said remember last week. You said this week. Oh, it's not this week either. Well, when is it, Mr. Charlie? Oh, it's never. Oh, okay. Let's see. Playing those type of games, huh? Okay, well, you know. So now I'm wearing them. I'm in a situation to where when I get behind the steering wheel and the truck is moving, then we can uh be at, we'll be at seventy five percent believe, uh believing that you know okay, Mr. Charlie really chose me. But until then, you know, like I said, Mr. Charlie sent that off for letting that benefits. Call me to make sure I got it. I said uh. Tell, tell me something about all this, Mr. Charlie. Uh, what are you offering? Yeah, well, you know, you're going to get your health insurance, dental vision. Oh, we offer a 401k, 5% match, dollar for dollar. You know, you just got the dollar for dollar. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, of course, we're going to, you know, pay you for uh, all your time, you know, as soon as you, as soon as you, as soon as you show up to the truck, you hit that on duty. You get paid for all your time. Matter of fact, the clock don't stop. So you run all your errands, come all the way back, go off duty. Then that's when the clock stops. I said, oh, oh, okay, Mr. Charlie, okay, okay pay me. You gonna pay me for all of my time? Oh, really? Okay, that's that's new. That's new. Huh? Okay. Mm hmm. Interesting. No, I ain't, no, I ain't nobody, nobody ever paid me for all my time, Mr. Charlie. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Mr. Charlie, do I, do I got work seven days a week, Mr. No, no, we don't do no. No, I don't do no seven days off, man. You know, no, we don't do that, man. Five days. That's all you work. Five days. Oh. Five days, Mr. So I get two free days. Oh, two free days. Home every day. Oh, okay, home every day. Well, Mr. Charlie, well, tell me something, Mr. Charlie. Can I, can I potentially make six figures doing this job? Yep, yep, yep. We got plenty of people doing it. We got plenty of people doing it all around the coast. We got plenty, plenty, plenty of our drivers, six figures. Yep. I said, oh, oh, is that right, Mr. Charlie? Because you know. Mr. Charlie, I ain't never had no local job 
the Nashville, Tennessee local W2 company job. I never heard that, Mr. Charlie. And kind of scared me there, Mr. Charlie, because I never even thought about having a local W-2 job with the potential of making six figures. Not that I need six figures, but, you know, that the potential is there, there, you know. Hey, well, you know, but I, I never thought about it. I had to go, I had to go in the house and I had to think about it for a second, you know. Brother like me, okay, okay. What, what am I supposed to do with all this money? What am I supposed to? Okay, because situation I'm in right now, I pay a cell phone bill. I pay this car insurance until I cut these fools off. Man, I got two more months of paying Geico. I can finally cut them off. It's so sad, boy. <laughs> boy, look, I, boy, I'm trying. Look, I'm still OG tight pockets. I don't care how much money you... I done made in no North Dakota and all that. Look, I'm OG tight pockets, okay? Yeah, I don't want to pay no car insurance. Don't I know it's the law, this, that, and the third. Look, one day I'll buy by all the rules, but right now ain't the time, okay? So, I'm like, man, what else do I got to pay? Then I'm like, man, I never even had a local job around here, man. Everybody else around here, they got local jobs. They home every day, and then I got to got to start talking to the neighbors. And man, who are y'all? Who are y'all? Man, I look. I had to go and start looking for gyms today. I'm like, man, that's, Miss Charles said I'm gonna be home every day now. I'm, I gotta find me a gym or something because now I work out every day now. I'm just, get back in the shape again, you know. Do my dad again. But what are we going to do with all this money, though? That's that's the problem. That's what I was thinking. I was like, man, what? Because clearly he at the house. Bro, I've been in Nashville for about a year now. If I'm just making, let's just take the low end. Let's, 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 let's say freaking $2,500 a month. Let's just do something low. Let's say 500 a week. That's two thousand dollars, ain't it? It's two thousand dollars a month. Okay, so two thousand a month. Get AT and T, they sixty five dollars. Get us car insurance, they hundred some dollars. I'm not about to eat eighteen hundred dollars worth of food. Food here is free for me, you know. Obviously, food is free. I don't pay for food unless I go out and buy something fancy, you know, some lobster. You know, steak, something like that. But I don't go out to eat like that around here. So that won't be happening. You know, I may get some crab legs once on occasion. It's got to be occasion, you know. Something got to happen for me to get some crab legs. Otherwise, I'm not going to go pay them fools 50 and $70 for that boiled bag. You know, so man, I wish I would pay that every goddamn day. Oh, hell no, I ain't paying that. 50 and 70. I didn't want to pay it last time I paid it. That's why I put it on YouTube so I can get a refund. I was, <laughs> it was so sad. I paid that much money for a crab leg. It was so sad, boy. But uh, I'm trying to think, man. I'm like $1,800, man. I'll shoot. Damn, brother, $1,800, man. Even if I just spend, I'm going to say 400 a month on just going out to eat food and all that. Okay, well, we still left for what? Was it 14, 12, something like that? Man, it's like, then what? Then what? And even those expenses that I just named, YouTube covers that anyway. So technically, we still at the 2,000. And like I said, this is just, this is just our 500 a week, okay? Now, of course, that ain't Mr. Charlie paying way more than that. I'm just saying 500 a week, you know. What are we going to do with all this extra income? That's what I'm trying to think. You see, I like to live on less than what I make. Around here, I don't spend no money. That's why you don't see. I ain't never matched my income with my lifestyle. You know, this this is a V6 car. This ain't no real cat. This is V6 right here. This is V6. Baby, when I got this car, it was less than $13,000, baby. This is a V6. Okay, so yeah, I, I ain't got no 
no uh, shoot Hellcat, you know, or Red Eye and all that. Hey, man, I, ain't, I don't pay my money to these fools, no. So I'm trying to think. And I couldn't come up with nothing, you know, other than a gym bill, but that ain't nothing about $20, $30 a month. That ain't no money. So, the only thing I could possibly think to do with all that extra money is the button in the stock market, baby. Hey, nothing, what else can I do with it? Hey, what else can I do with it? I ain't finna blow it on nobody else. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be one of them stock market drivers. Got that, got that W 2 free and clear money. Home every day, W 2 free and clear money. But this is all just theory, because like I said, until, until I get behind the wheel and I'm driving, you know, it's all just theory, you know. Nah, it is. I didn't been through it before, so, you know, as far as I'm concerned, still going North Dakota in two weeks. Yep, still. A lot of y'all like, hey, Andrew, man, I told you you weren't going back to North Dakota. Wait a minute. Hold on now. First of all, I didn't know Mr. Trevor would call me with, with this situation. Hey, this situation, we didn't think it, this wasn't part of the plan, okay? It just happened. A little bit different. A little bit different, okay? So, you know, uh, like I said, things change. I didn't know Mr. Charlie was going to choose me out of all the people. I'm, I'm still I'm still trying to give it some time because I'm thinking, well, well, maybe Mr. Charlie, maybe they, uh, maybe they, like, uh, you know, overlooked some things or uh, they haven't done their research yet. Let them do their research. They, they, they need to do some research. Type my name in Google or something like that. You know, wait for one of y'all to call and let them know who they didn't hire. You know, things like that. You know, now, do I plan to do any type of uh, driving videos or let y'all know what I do? Nope. I'm actually thinking about changing this channel around. You know, because now I don't have to do the trucking videos no more because I work with Mr. Charlie. Well, not yet, I don't, but I was like, well, maybe I should start covering, you know, celebrity gossip and, you know, uh, things like that. I got to cover something else, you know, because there's a lot of upside to YouTube now since y'all can't get no driving videos and things like that. A lot of upside to YouTube. I just need to change this whole thing around, baby. <laughs> you, know, you know, change the whole thing around, baby. You know, so I don't know. I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this situation right here. Because this is just extra, you know, extra income, too. Extra income with a lot of upside. But we was only at 500 a week. Now let's take it up to 1500 a week. Now, 1500 a week for four weeks weekly pay. Mr. Charlie covering all these benefits, 401k, 5% match, then my RA. I got a 3% match on my RA over at Robinhood, because that's who I got my Roth RA through. If y'all ain't got one, go sign up. 6500 per year, you can put it in, you know. Mr. Charlie was to fire me, I can take the 401k and roll it over to my RA, so, you know. Only thing I could possibly think to do with this money while I'm making it is to, you know, just put it in the stock market. That's the only thing I do. Hey, now, now here comes the freaking, I don't know when payday is with Mr. Charlie, but now y'all got to, you know, now we got to, see, see, now this, see, this is what I'm talking about. See, now y'all got to watch me buy these stocks and, that's so sad, boy. It's so sad. It's a W-2 free and clear money. All, all the taxes is paid, so, you know. I was talking to my dad. I said, Dad, man, uh, let's try to talk about hiring me down the road, man. I mean, I got all this W-2 free and clear money. If y'all don't know, my parents is over 70 years old. They didn't, they didn't put the house in my name, so. But I don't like living off my parents, though, like that. I try not to take advantage of the situation so I was telling him you know maybe I could get me like an investment property you know put 20% down and move somebody else into that situation you know and collect maybe rental income since I got this W-2 free and clear money and you know at this point in time I ain't already paid up in North Dakota 
uh, off of 10 rats, I had already gave the government damn near $3,000 in, in taxes. So, so sad, man. That's a lot of money. But I paid them fools three rats in taxes. Looks like this year I'm one of them W-2 workers, so, you know, last year I done sold a, sold a profit, sold a damn profit in my business, so, combined last year with whatever I'm finna make by the end of December, uh, got good credit, just need 20% down on the, uh, on one of these homes and stuff, but the problem is I don't know what interest rate's gonna be, but for the purpose of, uh, you know, Investing, you know, uh, what do y'all call it? Uh, uh, buying property, you know, for rental income. That's what it'd be for. Unless I get like a family or something in the future, then, you know, then the house, then I can focus on moving into that house. But until then, I don't have no family, nobody I got to take care of. So, you know, hey investment property, you know, that way I can still have something in my name, I could be getting paid off, you know, I ain't got no use for it, just, it's just me, you know, if, if if things was to go right, which more likely they're probably not, because like I said, it just happened too fast, and not enough things was checked, I don't even, to be honest with you, I don't even know if they even, I don't think they ran my background, PSP report, they ain't verified no jobs. I know they have it. I know they have it. I know they have it. So that's why I know, you know, this right now. It's, it just sounds good right now. Okay. How I know they didn't run it is because on the offer letter, uh, it says I had to go back into the portal and correct everything. And they send it over to Higher Right. And I done dealt with Higher Right plenty of times. Higher Right going to call me to verify that. Did. Mr. Chase and Andrew Jackson, did he work over at CAJ Logistics? Yep, so he started at this date, ended on this date, best employee I ever had. I wish I had him back. I wish so he was the best one. Yep, oh, high rate gonna call, they usually gonna hire like a foreigner talking to me, you know, you know with, with one of them high-pitched voices. Best employee ever. I, I wish, I wish, I wish I can get him back right now. He was the best employee I ever had in my life. Yep, fill out the form they sent to sign the form, and you know that, that's how how it works. Work. It's so sad, bro. It's, it's trucking is so such a scam. It's so sad. It's so sad. Yep. So sad. Hmm. Well. I gotta get in here and figure out what we gonna do with all this, this, this income, and you know, what we gonna do. I, like I said, I never had a local job ever in Nashville, Tennessee. Never had a local job. No home every day. Six figures, 401k, full benefits, 3% RA. Nah, nah, never had none of that. Never had no 401k. Mr. Charles said 401k, 5%. Dollar for dollar, is that right, Mr. Charlie? Match that out then, Mr. Charlie, match it out. Got one of those, okay, but like I said, Mr. Charlie ain't ran his checks. Although he didn't gave me a star date and, you know, I know just like Circle K as time get closer, you know, they could pull the plug. So I'm not, it's all right if they pull the plug, because I know they ain't ran their checks, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see. But, I, you know, like I said, they sent the off letter, I, you know, did it electronically, send it back, and... You know, I guess whoever they got to do they checks, we'll see as this time pass. You know, we'll see how things change. Cause I, you know, right now it just it just sounds good. It just sounds good right now, but you know, oh no, oh no, this is all new. This is all new. Now, I saw some of y'all in the last video, a lot of y'all trying to take a guess. What could Andrew possibly be going? Oh, uh, man, look. <laughs> First of all, you got to know that I ain't telling you. You got to know. The reason for that is because look, look how y'all did me up in North Dakota. What was that? The second day y'all hit the suit and tie guys chasing me around. I was with my trainer. Like, I was with my trainer. Soon, tight guys come up to me, start talking about this YouTube and 
shooting video and what if y'all don't know anything about me uh i will quit a job before i quit this youtube so you know they would have said hey andrew man we just just can't have you doing this youtube man we gotta let you go all right cool i would went like i said i would went across the street they would have hired me with the quickness okay so it's so sad the truck ain't working like that you can get fired and go across the street and get a job it's so sad on top of the fact that i not only could i go across the street Badland doing crude oil had a job for me. That's who I was originally supposed to go up there for. But like I said, they told me that I had to have a uh, vehicle to get back and forth from the man count to the day cab, and I didn't want to do that. But if I had to, I would have done it. Okay, I would have done it. But you know, but then I wouldn't hear this two weeks off, and I would still been up in North Dakota too. So. Funny how things work out, but 82% of y'all, 82%, 80, 82%, 82%, of y'all trying to get them North Dakota, North Dakota jobs, shout out to Red Viking Trucking, I did see your video, I actually saw the day uh, you put it out, because I'm subscribed with the notification bell on, and I heard all about Alaska, I did look into Alaska, prior to me going to North, North Dakota, I was looking at the uh, Yukon Territory, because I was, I wanted to go up there, but when I looked on Craigslist, I couldn't find any job offers from Craig. And I don't know where them people promote that too. And then I also heard you gotta have like a uh, like a class one license or something like that, some some other type of license for Alaska. So you know, I didn't look too deep into it, but a lot of people want to know, Andrew, would you go back up to North Dakota? Well, if Mr. Charlie didn't offer this job, I would go back up to North Dakota because, number one, I know I make more money. Okay, I made 40000 to the truck, but that's just the minimum, if you ask me. Uh, it's a lot of upside to that, too. I know I make way more money than I made. Uh, it's W-2. It's free and clear money anyway, so it's all of it just going to go sit in my bank account anyway. So uh, I would be better prepared. I would buy things that I didn't have before. I'd be better prepared. And uh, also another thing y'all need to know that y'all didn't calculate in that, that settlement that y'all seen. Yeah, even though y'all see it as steady as 10K, you also had to calculate the fact that mo majority of that money was made in snow and ice, bad weather, me chaining up, and I was still able to make that kind of money. Obviously, now we we don't we get paid by the barrel, okay? It, you do get to do some service work that's hourly, but that's not what majority of that majority of that whole settlement is just low, basically low pay, but they call it barrel pay up there. So uh, you also got to look at the upside of when winter time is over with and it's dry, you can go seventy miles per hour and work nonstop. You know, ain't no chaining, ain't no snow, ain't no ice, ain't no. Flash was on 25 miles per hour from loader to shipper all damn day when all that's over with. It's a lot of upside is all you need to know for the people that want to go up there. Another thing you need to know too is uh the customers that I was hauling for that y'all saw that the loads only paying like $200 and things like that. Those was the low paying customers. The senior drivers over there is with the high paying customers that pay double basically what I was making. So, uh, it's a lot of upside to that job. So, uh, really the only thing I would change about the North Dakota situation, I just wish they was closer to the airport so you can fly. Because I ain't got no problem hitting no, no, no airport, no airplane. I'd rather fly out there because I don't want to put the miles on my Dodge Challenger. It's devaluing the car, okay? That's, every time I go up there, man, what, that's... 3,000 miles on the car, 1,500 up, 1,500 back. If I turn around and go back again, that's another 1,500, another 50. That's devalue on my car. So, uh, luckily, the car still worked perfect, man. Ever since I bought this, I ain't had to do nothing but an oil change, and that's it, amazingly, right? So, uh, I just don't want to put the miles on the car. Be much better if I could just fly up there, Uber to work. But uh, they just too far away from the airport, man. They two hours from the nearest airport, and uh, it's two hours too far, unfortunately. So, anything else I want to tell y'all, man? That's about it right now. So right now, like I said, to recap, Mr. Charlie claims that I got a star date, but they ain't ran nothing on, you know, they ain't ran nothing, okay? So you know, when Mr. Charlie runs some things and some some days and some weeks go by. 
and uh, we get closer, and then I'm actually behind the wheel, then I'll believe it, and then, you know, until then, you no, know, I'm just going to, you know, start looking around here locally, and, you know, I got to find me a GM, and, you know, just, you know, get on the good dad again, and, you know, just, just start adapting to life again. You know, life, you know, I just, shoot, I ain't never done nothing here in Nashville. I ain't got no friends here. All my friends, they gone. And it's so sad, man. I got to start getting friends again now. Hmm. Oh, as far as the semi trucks go, I'm going to sit those for about a year until, uh, yeah, until you guys tell me you guys are making some money again in this trucking industry because. 82% of people doing bad. Uh, I don't want nothing to do with that. I don't I don't want nothing to do with that right there until the industry or do a change. Now, I understand. I talked to Lottie Dottie. He with the Russians. He claimed it's the best market ever. He leasing a truck. He don't know what to do with the money. Then I started asking him some questions and the math wasn't mathing. But anyways, uh, We'll be back with another video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think.